just a small size lampshade and a large pillowcase. I'm trying to match the bedding in the bedroom. So I am covering this lampshade with one of the large pillowcases. Just gonna roll it very close to the seam on the pillowcase. Just like that. Okay. That's the top. So you can use uh, a glue gun or you can even stitch this together. For now, I don't have either one right here, so I'm just gonna use a, a small pin to put it together. And I love this lampshade, but sometimes just white is not that exciting, especially um, time and time you change your bedding, you change your bed cover and the lampshade and everything else stays the same. So for now, let's put just a safety pin there. Okay, so this is the top. This is where the light bulb is. So I'm gonna turn it over. That's the seam. Well, seam where it's, now it's a seam for the lampshade. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down, kind of smooth it out. And this is a very nice pillow, um, pillow case. It's all cotton, you can use really any kind with your extra pillow cases. I like the basic colors, and for a spring usually I do some florals. But for now, I just pick one of the, just one color. Okay, yeah, just a little glue gun would be perfect right here. Okay, here's the extra material. And I'm going to roll it and use more clips. Just trying to smooth it out. It already looks nice. <laughs> it's nice to change things around, especially in the bedroom. Nice to feel like you have a brand new bedroom again. Okay. Now I'm just going to fold the extra fabric. Here's how it's gonna look like. So I am just folding the extra fabric up like that. You can easily cut this in half and use a glue gun. But I didn't want to ruin the pillowcase. I don't think I'm going to be using it again. This is one of those extra pillowcases that I just ordered with the sheets to have just like extra accent pieces on the bed. So, and like I said, it's a very nice cotton, so I didn't want to just ruin it. But just like that, just fold it in. See? Just go around. I am going to use a safety pin to pin it together and hope just smooth it with my hand so there won't be any creases. Okay. Have to go get more safety pins. <laughs> I have bags and bags of them all around the house. 
don't know why, but I do. They come in handy, okay? Just gonna go around, okay. And I have some flannel pillowcases, large pillowcases. I think they would be beautiful for this lampshade too, but I'm not using the flannel sheets on the bed, so. Um, but just as an accent piece, just as a single lamp, like in a landing with a plaid like these, I think it would be very cute for winter time. Okay, smoothing it and moving on. Fold it again, bring it up. Should call this no glue gun, no stitching project. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a perfect line, but for some reason, I think if I keep it nice and clean and tidy, it would be better. It would come out nicer. I can also fold it and make little pleats like this, right? But just a straight line is fine for this small shade. If the shade had some designs, yes, you probably need to do more than just simple folding. Now this is how it looks like. More pretty. And this is the top. So I'm folding it going. So this is how it's going to be on the lampshade. I'm going to put it on the lampshade and take a picture of it. Nice. <laughs> okay. I keep on pinning. Okay, here we are. Extra fabric pinned in. Here's my little seam here. And if it's a lampshade you don't care, you can actually use the pins on the lampshade, especially here on the seam. But um, this is a nice lampshade and I didn't want to damage it, so I just pinned it and tucked it in where the seam is. But I, of course the seam is going to go in the back so you can't see anything. And this is how it looks like. I'm going to put it on the lamp so you can see it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.